Hello, people who are watching my channel on YouTube. Um, this video is sort of about my break from skateboarding. In the last video that I made about Thrasher, I think in the last month or so, I've maybe only skated about two times, which is less than I have skated at all in the last 22 years, unless I had an injury. And I think even with injuries, I, I forced myself to skate somehow. So right now I noticed that I am taking these indefinite breaks. And the only reasons I even did skate was what well, this end, end of this video, I'm going to actually show the session that I had recently, basically just to see what happens when I take a few weeks off skate, nothing. I, I skated exactly the same. I didn't lose anything. And if anything, I actually got back to the session and learned some things. I think it's because when I took the break off, I had this sort of, you know, mental break and physical break to where I felt pretty good on my board. So I've just been training a lot in general, doing a lot of like parkour training and doing a lot of just working out, I guess, maybe not a lot, but I keep physically active, even more physically active now, but I've just been doing a lot less skateboarding. So this video is sort of to explain why and obviously how that affects this channel. It's going to affect it a lot because if I am taking these breaks and to be frank, I haven't felt any, I haven't felt compelled at all to skateboard at all. I don't know what happened. I don't know what triggered it. I think it was just one day thinking, honestly, it, it a lot of it comes from depression. Um, one idea that depresses me a lot and sends me pretty much down this existential crisis every single time is I get down this avenue where I think, can I do anything else with my life? Am I stuck in the skateboard thing forever? I love the skateboard thing. I've been very lucky to do the skateboard thing, but am I sort of stuck into this world forever? This one thing. And then I get inspired and I do something else. And I do a lot of this stuff publicly so people see me. I, I got into drawing and art maybe four years ago. And as I was pursuing it, I had a video take off. And then I basically went back into YouTube and had a really good you know, two years of uploading videos again. And then I was like, oh, wait, wasn't I doing something? Oh, I was drawing, let's try that again. And I basically would, would be like, I'm getting really overwhelmed with how this YouTube thing works. And most of the overwhelm literally comes from just the idea that I feel like I can't not do it. And that kind of kills me. It kills me inside to think that I'm taking these brave steps towards something like skateboarding, which is such a big thing to try to pursue in life. It's a, it's a one in a million chance to make a living as a skateboarder, literally probably one in a million. And I got really fortunate and lucky enough to do that. And I was like, well, I should be grateful. I've been doing that for you know seven years or so to be able to skateboard for a living. I don't think life works that way. I don't think you, you you have one win and you go, I should be grateful. I think it's like, well, I have this one lifetime anyways. Who cares how I, if, if I want to live a lot of lives within this one life and then disappear forever, then I should probably take those chances to, to live those lives. So thinking that I keep basically just falling right back into the rhythm of doing YouTube because it's something I'm used to doing, that was so sad to think, oh, I don't have the uh, courage to just try something new completely and stick with that. So recently, I think there's a lot of things in, in my life that happen, things that will unfold uh, via the videos and vlogs and, you know, Instagram, especially I'm very, very consistent with Instagram. I'll let you know what's going on in my life. But basically, I, I feel a giant push into not growing up, but just trying new things. That's all. So recently, I've been going back into my sort of design background and illustration. And I thought, you know what? I want to do this for a living. This is really fun. I love designing. I love drawing. I love the whole world of that as well. It's sort of a world that I just thought, okay, I'm, I'm just not the kind of person who could succeed in that when I was younger. So I did skateboarding. And then as an adult, I'm like, I think I can do anything that I really try to do. So I've been pursuing that. And that's sort of my intention right now. But I realized that when I am doing something where I'm like, no, I want to be successful in this, my body instinctively cuts out everything that isn't necessary for that one thing. That happens to be skateboarding. When it comes to working out, I think that's always necessary. That's great for health. When it comes to parkour, I think that's a really good, fun way to work out. And it's a good explorative way of seeing the world in different ways and meeting new people in different communities. Skateboarding, I've beat to death. I've seen all of it. I've done it. I've had the highest highs I'll have. I've had the highest or the lowest lows I've had. I've experienced skateboarding as, as thoroughly as I feel like I possibly can. That's why I sort of needed to need to step away from it and why I think I might be not doing it a lot at all in the uh, upcoming upcoming time. So that's basically it. Um, I've 
yeah, been doing parkour, drawing. That's 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 my entire schedule. I'm trying to keep this video raw, and just the idea of thinking like, okay, this video is gonna be raw is what's messing me up speaking clearly. Because I'm like, I don't want to cut. I feel like I've talked well so far. Um, I do want to say that that obviously a million people subscribe to this channel, and that gives me this huge weight as well to sort of stick through it. But I think you know, if anyone were to ask me advice in my position, anyone out there, people ask me advice all the time, and I, I give sort of my best guesstimation. But obviously, advice works differently for everyone. No advice is universal. So when you hear something, you try it, and you're like, "Why isn't this working?" Because it might just not apply to you. If someone was telling me like, "Hey, man." I can't stop this cycle. I keep doing this thing. It's working for me. It's basically like a job, right? Like I'm doing this job. I really want to do this because I feel like my job, I, you know, I, I don't have anywhere to move up. Like I'm an employee at this company. Even if it sounds like a great gig, my advice is like always has been and always will be, oh, just go for the other thing. Like, why not? Who cares? Like the down, the downside of things is never as bad as people think, depending on what your perspective is. Like to me, a huge downside is like breaking my leg. That is a massive downside. But to like financially struggle for a year or so or, or or like try to do other things to make ends meet, that's not really that low, at least to me. And I've saved up a good um, egg. What's it called? Goose egg. Uh, I, I've saved up some money to sustain me for a little bit as I pursue something else. But, you know, the truth is I don't have a lot of time where I can sort of just uh, – lollygag. I need to get to it, which is why I think I've also been just so desperate to pursue something new. So, you know, I started the Instagram and I think a lot of people saw it and I already have gotten a little bit of, you know, pushback being like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're good at this one thing, do this one thing. And it's so funny because I was going to go skate the next day and I got this hate comment, hate comment that just said, hey man, I really like what you do, but you should stick to skating. You know, it was like this, like, it was kind of this I've noticed that I just look at the world so differently than than the mass amount of people who who comment on my feed, who exist maybe. I just don't look at the world like that. And I don't say the things that, that feel normal. Like, I feel like everyone just says the same things over and over about everything. And the advice has never worked for me. Like, it has never been universal when people have gone like, you know, they're like, man, when you hit 30, you're going to start feeling it in your bones. You know, things like that. Like people say, will say the same thing. Well, you'll see when you're older about this and this. And they've always been wrong. Like literally every time they've been wrong. And I also realized how many adults when I was a kid would just rationalize bad behavior. So it'd be like, I mean, here, you know, I, I'll drink alcohol once in a while or whatever. But I remember people would be like 23 and they'd be raging and partying and being like this. And they're like, dude, wait till you're older, dude. You're going to be drinking and acting crazy and doing all this stuff or whatever. And I was like, I don't think that's going to happen. And then as I got older and it didn't happen, I realized you were just irresponsible. <laughs> like how many people just perpetuate their own irresponsibility to kids being like, oh, you'll see when you're older. And then I realized also with fitness, it was like, when you're 30, you're going to feel it in your bones. And I was like, well, it turns out I've been skateboarding nonstop and being physically active is actually better for your body than being sedentary. And like people who give that advice live sedentary lifestyles. And I'm like, oh, if I if you would have just exercised, you wouldn't be feeling that way. So anyways, the point is people seem to repeat the same things and say the same things. And when it comes to advice with something like this, the typical thing to say would be, you, you finally get to do something you love. You know, you should stick with that, right? You got really lucky. You shouldn't really complain about that. That's kind of silly and immature. And in my head, I go, no, dude, even if you got lucky, got the job you love, it's like you have to explore the other things. You have to explore something else you love. And especially if you don't like what you're doing at the time, especially if the thing feels repetitive and monotonous and boring to you, you absolutely should explore the new things and try new things and risk it. But the thing is, you know, I also know that I am the kind of person who's really disciplined and I'll just go for it 100%. So there is that side factor as well. But this is sort of a tangent. I just wanted to sort of give my version of a podcast because with this channel too, I'm like all people really care about nowadays is talking. And I've considered just doing like a podcast in the future, but I do actually have a video coming out next about Revive. They came into town and I want to do a whole video sort of uh, talking about what happened to Revive Skateboards because it's been a big difference when I got on compared to now going through COVID and sort of how that transition happened. I think that'll be a really interesting video, but that's essentially it. I really appreciate anyone who subscribed, who stuck through and, and enjoyed the video so far, but I have no intention really of doing this for the long haul maybe i'll get inspiration again but i i'm just not compelled to skate not compelled to make skate videos and 
that's that. Uh, I'm really excited about pursuing new things. And the second that I actually was like, holy crap, I'm going to actually pursue art. I'm going to pursue art. Oh my God, I'm going to do this. You will not believe the amount of energy I've had the last week. It's just been nonstop. I know it's new, but it's also something I've been doing for four years. So I know it's something that's going to stick for a long time. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm finally getting out of it. And it's been like a huge fix for my sorrow of being like, I'll never be able to escape. I'll never be able to escape. And realizing now that I'm doing it, like I'm actually escaping. Yeah, I feel very, very, very excited, very at peace. Um, but obviously a little nervous and a little, you know, I'm just I'm just excited. That's all it is. I think it's gonna be really, 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 really fun. Um, and the thing with me is, I, you know, I am a competitive person, so I do want to win. And I think that will be a fun journey to watch because, you know, anyone who is interested in seeing that side of it, you know, I did start like a YouTube, Instagram, whatever for that, uh, for what I'm doing with the art thing. I'm basically uploading every day in the art world. Um, so I'll link stuff down below if you want to keep up with it. If you don't care about art, then you're not going to like it. Who cares? You know, but if you want to keep up with me and things that I'm saying and doing, uh, that'll also be a part of it. A lot of the art is very personal to me. And I was considering starting a podcast on that channel. I don't know, going for it hundred percent. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the session that you are about to watch with your eyeballs at Sheldon skate park. Uh, this was me trying to get back into the groove and realizing that you don't really miss a beat. I could take off probably two months and I think I would skate the exact same way. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.